Hi, this is Ann with iLivesyCoupon.com and last night I did a video about freezing eggs. We put about a dozen eggs in the freezer and today I'm going to defrost them in the microwave and then we're going to cook them and we're going to cook some fresh eggs too and then we'll compare the two and see which one is better. All right, so I just got these out of the freezer. I've got a whole yolks, I've got scrambled, and then I've got the, oh, they look really weird. The uh, whole eggs that I uh, boiled, hard cooked. So here are the scrambled ones. Well, let me see that. And there are the whole yolks ones. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna pop these out of here, maybe. Mm. Make sure I'm not wanting to come out. Yeah. Okay, so let's just pop these out of here. I did run some hot water on this so that it would just pop. Come on now, come on. Oh, there it is. Nice block of egg. I'm gonna get this one. Oh, it's, it looks tasty. Okay. And finally, the three hard boiled eggs. They are beautiful and they smell great. That's a little bit of sarcasm there. All right. Um, and now we are off to put them in the microwave. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but these eggs are kind of gross. I uh, just defrosted them for three minutes. And look what it's doing. Ooh, I don't know how this is going to taste. It's not quite defrosted yet, but um, I don't I don't think that maybe doing the hard boiled eggs is the way to go. They're all squishy and they, they're really strange. They look like dinosaur eggs. You know, the ones that have the soft shell. <laughs> all right. Well, I will try to eat these, but I'm, I'm pretty much going to assume that Boiling your eggs and then freezing them is not the way to go. Okay, so here's another view of these. And look, like the water. Oh, you can just squeeze all this nasty water out of them. Oh, that's not very appetizing. Ew. Well, I'm still going to eat them, you guys. I'm going to eat them for you. Yuck. Ew. All right. They're going back in there. Okay, here we got the second one. It's the scrambled one. Now, I was defrosting this in the microwave and it started cooking it. So, it's still kind of icy in some places and in other places it started to cook it. So, what you might want to do is just, you know, put it in your refrigerator for a day or so and let it thaw out on its own. That way you don't have to worry about it cooking it. All right, so we're going to cook up these eggs. Oh, it looks like I forgot one. Um, the full carton of eggs. Okay, so let's take a look at these, see how they did. Hmm. Oh, some of them cracked. I don't know if you see that, but they cracked. But they didn't overflow, which is, well, this one, no, it's just kind of freezy. That's all. Most of them cracked, actually. But uh, we'll have to see how they do once they thaw out. All right. Okay, I've decided to let uh, both these full eggs and the mm, kind of fried looking eggs to completely thaw instead of putting them in the microwave because um, I just think they'll do better. So I'm going to wait for that. I might put these in a plastic baggie because once it does thaw, it's just going to run right out of there. So that won't be any good. All right. Okay, I think they're pretty much done now. They look the same. Nothing different than I can really tell. So we'll have to test them out as soon as we get some fresh ones made. Okay, we've got the uh, scrambled eggs. On this side is the ones we got out of the freezer. And on this side is the fresh. So now I'm going to do a little mini taste test. Okay, on this side we have the fresh eggs and on this side we have the frozen eggs. So I'm going to try a little bit of each one. Mm. 
That one was really good, of course. It was the fresh one. Um, now I'll try the frozen one. Hmm. It was slightly... Compared to the fresh, I have to say it's slightly more rubbery, but I really had a hard time telling the difference. Okay, let's go see what Vince thinks. Okay, I asked my husband, Vince, and he said he thought the same, that the, and it was a blind taste test, by the way. So, um, he thought the frozen eggs were just a tiny bit rubbery, and the fresh ones were fluffy and good, like usual. So, um, I think this is a pretty good way to freeze eggs. Okay, so I'm going to taste the difference between the fresh boiled egg and the, um, the frozen and thawed boiled egg. Okay, so the fresh one, let me get a piece of it. Hmm, it's really good. Big surprise. It's a fresh egg. Um, and now we'll try the really nasty one. Oh! Okay, it's pretty bad. It was like all rubbery, the little piece like flakes off of there. Oh, no, I wouldn't recommend it. So I think we can call this egg experiment, this egg experiment, a fail. Don't do boiled eggs freeze them and then thaw them. All right. Okay, so it looks like we had a positive experience with the scrambled eggs. Uh, I would definitely recommend doing that, but steer clear of the boiled eggs. In the next video, we'll talk more about the other two ways of freezing eggs and how they turned out. So be sure to watch that video. This is Anne for ilivetocoupon.com.